Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to add a second drive in the early 2011 and mid-2012 15-inch MacBook Pro. We'll be upgrading a 2011 MacBook Pro in this video, but the steps and positions of everything are identical for the 2012 model. In most cases, the optical drive is held in place with small Phillips screws, but there have been instances where Apple's used Torx T6 screws instead. Make sure that you have both screwdrivers handy before proceeding. We've gathered our materials, shut down the MacBook Pro, and have placed it on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro and flip it over. On the bottom are 10 Phillips screws. The three in the upper right are longer than the others, so remove those first. You can now remove the remaining seven screws, which are all the same size. When lifting the cover off, there will be some snaps holding it in, so you may have to gently pull a bit to free them. The optical drive is located here. First, though, we need to disconnect the battery connector, which is located here. Use a nylon pry tool to gently lift the connector free from the logic board. Once it's disconnected, we can then safely remove the optical drive. Using your nylon pry tool, detach these two data cables. In most cases, the optical drive is held in place with Phillips screws, but in this particular instance, the optical drive is attached using Torx T6 screws. The first screw we must remove is located here. To get at it, gently detach this cable. To get at the second screw, we need to loosen this module by removing this longer Phillips screw, then this shorter one. Once you've done that, gently pull the module back to reveal the second optical drive screw, which can then be removed. Finally, remove the last optical drive screw, which is located here, along the outside edge of the MacBook Pro. Gently lift the optical drive out of the bay, using your nylon pry tool if necessary. Be careful not to snag on any cables while pulling the drive out. We need to remove the SATA connector in the mounting bracket from the original optical drive so that we can use them on the data doubler. You can remove the SATA connector by simply pulling it off. Then, remove the two Phillips screws holding the mounting bracket into place. You can now set the optical drive aside. We can install any standard or solid state 2.5 inch hard drive in the data doubler. In this installation, we're using an OWC Mercury Extreme Pro SSD. Line up the SATA connector on the data doubler with the SATA connector on the drive you wish to install and slide the two together. Secure the drive to the data doubler at these two points using the two thicker screws that came with the data doubler. Next, line up the SATA connector on the data doubler with the connector on the cable and slide them together. Place the mounting bracket in the same position as it was on the optical drive and attach it with the two Phillips screws. The data doubler is now ready to install. Carefully slide the data doubler into place, making sure no cables or tabs get pinched underneath. Reattach the two data cables by lining them up with their connectors and gently pushing them into place. Use one of the two Phillips screws that came in a separate bag with the data doubler to secure this corner in place. Next, pull back the module and use the other Phillips screw from the bag to attach this corner. Once that's done, secure the module back into place. The longer screw goes in the left spot, while the smaller screw goes on the right. 
Finally, use one of the original screws to attach the back end of the data doubler in place, then plug in the cable we detached earlier. You may now reattach the battery and put the bottom cover into place. Press down in these two spots to secure the two snaps. Reinsert the bottom screws starting with the longer three in the upper right corner. Then, replace the remaining seven screws. You may now flip your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on.